Hi, I'm Celine Honey and welcome to a new video. Today I'm showing you my Linktober 2020 sketchbook. Before I'm showing you my sketchbook, I want to show you all the art supplies I used. The most art supplies I used were either recommendations by the official Inktober website or they were included in the Inktober 2020 art supply box. I never bought this art supply box, but I watched some YouTube videos where they unboxed it and decided for the art supplies I never used before and wanted to try them out. The first ink I used was the Delete Black 4. This was an ink I already had. So I hope I hope you see it. Yeah. So the Delete Black 4. In the middle of my drawings, I switched to the Liquitech acrylic ink. Uh, for colors, I use these Aqua Ink Graphics. Wait. <laughs> Aqua Ink Graphics. Uh, in the art supply box, in the official art supply box, there were other colors included, but I was not able to get these colors because they were sold out everywhere. So I just used these instead. But I never used these Aqua Ink Graphics before, so I wanted to try them out. Uh, to be able to do some corrections, I had this Delita white ink already before and I reuse, reused it for Inktober. What I also used was the Jelly Roll pen, but I think you all know it, so I, didn't, I don't show it now. At the beginning of my drawings, uh, I used, I think it was a Vincent Newton brush, but I can't show you that anymore because I destroyed it after some drawings and ha I have thrown it away. So I'm not able to show you this, but for the most drawings, I think, so at the end, I used these Arteza. I think I just take one. So this is an Arteza brush. I have bought a whole set, so you can see there are several ones. And just decided for, you know, the size which I thought fits the most. I also used this plastic mixing palette where I just dripped my ink into and then I used my water tank brush and just dropped the water into it so you can really mix how you want it. So that was the way I was doing it. Let's have a look inside my sketchbook. The whole month I followed the prompts from the official Linktober website. Let's have a look inside. On the first day the prompt was beast or monster. So I've drawn a girl from Wind Waker. I don't know if I've pronounced it correctly. So here we have it. And I also did a second drawing, and this is Guen. Ah, here, I've written it. Guen, I hope it, I pronounced it correctly. So here I'm still staying very dark, so the background is black. And here I also have drawn a black background, because I've seen that on Jay Parker's drawings, and I thought it's, it's, it's really helping to make it pop out. But at the end, I wasn't sure if it's maybe a little bit too much. For day two, the prompt was Princess. And I've decided for Princess Styler from Tree Force Heroes. I never played Tree Force Heroes, but I really love the character and I love to draw it. So I, I really appreciate this drawing. For the day three, the prompt was time. <clears throat> so of course I've drawn Link from Phantom Hourglass with the hourglass. For day four, the prompt was favorite place. And I've drawn Link's home. So this was a scene from one of the Zelda mangas where they've shown Link's home. And I really love the scenery, so I wanted to redraw it. And for me it was a very challenging drawing because until that point of time I think I never, I've never drawn a whole scene. I normally draw only characters and no background. And in this case I had to draw this house, and the woods and the grass and it was really really time consuming. So I, I really had to, to 
be quick to be able to finish it until the end of the day. On day five, the prompt was plant or flora, so I've drawn the silent princess. For day six, the prompt was shop or store, and I've drawn the Kochi Dai shop, because this is the shop I like the most in Zelda. I mean, I've not drawn the whole, so there's a house behind and everything, and I've not drawn all that all, uh, all that, because I've just run out of time, so I was not able to draw everything, but since I love this shop the most, I wanted to draw it. So here we have it. I'm not sure at the end, at the first I wanted to make a color background like this, but at the end I was not sure if this was a really good idea, because somehow it's not working well together. On the day 7, the prompt was right mount or transport so i thought okay i want to i want to draw epona so this is epona and this is how she looks in ocarina of time for me it was also quite challenging because drawing horses is something i'm really not good at so i'm not fully satisfied with the proportions but i think i did a good job for it So, day 8. Day 8 the prompt was weapon, so of course I wanted to draw the true master sword from Skyward Sword. Maybe I, I rotate it and you can see it better. Yep. The next prompt was castle or palace. So here we have Hyrule Castle from Breath of the Wild. I hope you can see it because the contrast is not very good. This is not not a good drawing at all. <laughs> it was it was a very good idea, but I think I could have done better because like you see in the video the contrast is just not enough and yeah. I could have done better. Maybe maybe I redraw this one time to to see if I can do a better job on it. The next prompt was Link, Link himself, so here we have him in action. And then the next prompt was Ganon or Ganondorf. So I've drawn Ganondorf from the Wind Waker. I need to, you know, put it a little bit down on the page so you can really see it well. This was also very challenging, just because of all these details and it was very time consuming for me, so here I also had a lot of problems to be able to finish it until the end of the day. Because, you know, I have to work the whole day and in the evening then I'm starting all that <laughs> and therefore time is limited until it's midnight and until midnight you have to finish. The prompt from the next day was mask, so I've drawn Link from Machoru's mask. Then the prompt was Shika, so I've drawn Inpa from Oracle Seasons. Yeah, I, I like the idea, but at the end I, I also think I could have done better. But it's not bad, it's just, it's just not the highlight of my schedule. This is a drawing I really appreciate. The prompt was food and I've drawn Link eating. <laughs> this is Link from Oracle of Seasons. This is a picture which is in the manga and I really loved it, so I wanted to redraw it. But you can also see through the whole sketchbook is because of the limited time I had. You can see my sketching lines everywhere because I had no time to erase them so you can see them, but somehow it's also looking charming because you, you just see that it's really hand-drawn. The next prompt, <laughs> that's a sweet one. The prompt was pet or animal. And I've drawn Link from Minish Cap, where he's fighting against the dog. Yeah, he's not really fighting, but... <laughs> yeah, he's pointing at the dog with his sword. 
I like it, but somehow the proportions of the dog are not very well. <laughs> so I could have done better also. And it's always a little bit difficult when you draw over two pages because it's not really flat in the middle. So it's always looking weird somehow. And even if you take a picture of it, you always have this round thing in between and it's not really looking nice. So I always try to avoid that. That's a sweet one. I really love it. The prompt was magic, magical, and that's Martha from Oracle of Seasons. If you know the English version, I think she's called Maple. So in German version, her name is Martha, and in the English version, her name is Maple. <laughs> and I really love this one. It's a, it's a picture which is in the manga, and really love this very free drawing. <laughs> The next prompt is dungeon or temple and I've drawn the temple of seasons from oracle of seasons. This is also again a drawing where I had to practice that I'm drawing environment, this is something I'm never doing and it's again it was again very challenging. I mean I, I made it a little bit easier because I'm I just I have just drawn it in front view so it's not three dimensional. But, I mean, it's still a lot of work and it's something I'm not comfortable with. The next drawing is... The next prompt is Boss. And I've drawn Fati from the Minish Cap. This is a... This was also a very, very time-consuming prompt... Uh, drawing? The prompt. <laughs> and I really had a hard time to finish it until midnight. I think this is the drawing which I finished about five minutes before midnight. <laughs> I think it, it was this one. But, I mean, I, I love it. It's a little bit... Yeah, the, the background is, is not very well. Even though it was nearly the same in the manga. But I could have done better here somewhere. But somehow I really like it because the details are very good, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied. The next prompt, this is a sweet one. The prompt was Ghost or Phantom. And I've drawn Pau Joel from Karina of Time. This was one of the few times I'm drawing wood. And I think it turned out quite three-dimensional, which was very hard for me because I'm normally not doing something like that. I really like it, even though it's not a complicated one, I really like it. This is cool, even though the topic is a sad, sad one. So the prompt was companion and I've drawn link with, with Piyoko, I hope you pronounce it like that, from Oracle of Seasons. So it's really a sad one, so he's really, really sad. He's crying. This is a very special drawing. So the prompt was ancient and I wanted to draw the Shika download mechanism because I really loved this <coughs> video which was uh, animation which was going on when you know, it was glowing and the liquid was, you know, running down of the energy and then it was dropping onto your uh, surface and that was really cool. So I really loved it and wanted to draw it. Maybe it didn't turn out like I wanted, but yeah, you can only learn by doing and drawing. So I tried it. <laughs> so the next prompt is favorite character. I've drawn Marlon from Ocarina of Time. This was a really easy one and a quick one. I think on that day I didn't have a lot of time. So I searched for a quick thing to draw. The next prompt was Sella, Sella herself. So I've chosen for Sella getting out of Tetra from Phantom Hourglass. So here you can see Tetra. And here, Cell is coming out of her. The, I also didn't have enough time. <laughs> That's why the background is kind of weird. So normally, this area should also be some kind of dark gray. So there's normally there should be some gradient. So on the outside it's dark, and then it gets lighter. 
But it wasn't labeled to finish that. This is also something very difficult about Inktober or Linktober, doesn't matter what you join. Um, after work, when you only have limited amount of time, uh, you should sketch your drawing and you should also ink it. And inking always takes longer than you think. And as Jake Parker said, um, you're practicing time management a lot because you have to finish it until midnight. So you have to think about how much you can manage until midnight on this day. And it's it's really hard. It's it's harder than you think. This prompt was instrument, and I've drawn Link using the spirit flute from Spirit Tracks. I really love this because it's 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 just so sweet and s somehow it's spreading happiness. I really love this. And on Instagram, it was very popular. <laughs> This, oh my god. Here we have the prompt ruins and I tried, I really tried hard to, to draw the Sage Temple ruins from Breath of the Wild. So this is a scenery which I've seen on a screenshot from Breath of the Wild and I tried hard to recreate it. And since I'm, I'm never drawing environments, yeah, it did not turn out very well, but I have to say, I really have to say, for my skill level, it's really good, even though it's not looking that good. But it, for my skill level, it's really, I think, one of the best things I, I was doing in Link 2. And it showed me that I, I'm getting better in everything as long as I'm practicing. Yeah. It was one of my worst rated drawings on Instagram, I think. So the next prompt was key, map or compass. Compass? Compass? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I was drawing Link using a map from Phantom Hourglass. This was one of the highest rated drawings on Instagram, so people really liked it, even though it's a quite simple one and you know, there's not a lot of emotion going on there, or something like that. Also no environment or background. It was just a, a quick, simple drawing. So the next prompt is fairy. And I've drawn the great fairy from the Minish Cap. This is a drawing I really, really love. Because it was so much fun to draw the hair using the, using the brush. You were able to vary the line thickness. Well, this I loved for the drawing process itself, not, not just for um, the theme, but for the drawing process. The next prompt was outfit. And my most loved outfit from Link is, you know, the Garuru clothes, so the woman's clothes he's wearing. This was just such a complicated drawing, I can't even tell you. It took me such a huge amount of time to draw this, but I still love it. Even though it's not perfect or something like that, and the people on Instagram <laughs> also not like it a lot, but I really love it because it was so time consuming, such a detailed drawing and I've never done something like this before so I was proud of myself and I'm still proud of myself that I've managed to draw this. The next prompt is Corrupt. So I've drawn Shadow Link from Four Swords. I think it's just the best symbol for being corrupt. Yeah. It's also a quite quick and simple drawing. On the day I also drew another one because I was not really sure about if that's a good expression of corrupt. So I've also drawn Link on the left side and Shadow Link on the right side to compare them to the good one and the bad one. I could have done better by centralizing it a bit so that the line is in the middle of here and also here so you see it from the same angle and everything but yeah I didn't think of that. 
to be honest. When I finished it, I was like, nah, I could have done it better, but I like it. The next prompt is species race. I've drawn a young Goron, uh, Goron, that's what I knew, and this I never remembered. It's a young Anuki. A young Anuki. So that's, you see, it's, it's a really small drawing on that day. I didn't have a lot of time, so I did only a really, really small one. But it's sweet. And I, I have to say, I did not have a lot of good ideas on that. Ah, we are nearly at the end. That's the last one. The prompt was free for all. So you were able to decide whatever you wanted. And I thought this, the scene, this is a scene from the manga and it was just describing it so much. So this is Link from Four Swords. And I, I appreciate it so much. And I have to say I'm so bad at drawing speed lines, you see. But doesn't matter. I, I really love it. It's, it's just expressing how you feel on the day when everything is finished and you're saying, yeah, I have done it. I finished it. I have gone through it. And on the next day, I was so thankful for it, for the journey. And I have to say, if you really finish Linktober or Inktober, you feel so full of happiness and everything because you just succeeded and it's really it's really hard job to to do it the whole month it's it's much harder than you think at the beginning and i was so thankful so i've drawn an additional one and this is link how he thankful watches you know in the direction of sky i think it's from four swords i'm not sure so it's it's a picture from manga and I thought it's it's just expressing how you feel, you know. It's really over, everything is over, you have you don't have to draw every day anymore. <laughs> You're not forced to. And I was so thankful because you get to know a lot of new people who also love Linktober because you, you use this hashtag on Instagram and you're also browsing through all other drawings which are done on Linktober. And you get to know so many new people who also enjoy Zelda and it's just so cool. I, I really love that. I love participating in Linktober and I can only recommend it to people who are really in love with Zelda because it's, it's wonderful. So this is the end of Linktober. But I can show you another few drawings because you see we are not at the end of the sketchbook. The sketchbook is still not finished until now. But I show you some other ones. This is blank because you know the ink had gone through. Here we have a link from I think Four Swords who is in love. <laughs> That's really a sweet one. I love it. And at the moment I'm redoing that uh, digitaler because I'm working on this project that I want to offer a collection of coloring pages and this should be one of the coloring pages. But I'm not very fast with doing digital art so maybe it takes a little bit. <laughs> Here we have Ropery. She's cool. For that I did a YouTube video already because one of my subscribers, I think, wished for it. That was really fun. I think, yeah, we are on the end. I have to say, if you are in love with Zelda and you have enough time, then really participate in Linktober. It's so much fun, it's so cool, and you have such a good feeling when you are able to finish it. But don't feel stressed to do it. So if you don't have enough time or if you are in the middle of a month and say, no, it's too much for me, then stop with it. It should still be fun for you and if it's not fun anymore, it's not the right thing. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, it would be great because I'm just a small YouTuber. If you, if you like the video, if you share the video, if you subscribe to my channel and of course, if you hit the bell to be informed if there are new videos available. So I really hope you liked it and see you in the next video. Bye!